Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in Harmor is called Arp of Virtue, and before we get into it, I'd like to thank our sponsor, John Audio, where you can find great tutorials for great synthesizers and a lot of free patches, so thank you to John Audio for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into it. Arp of Virtue sounds a little something like this. All right, so what you're hearing there is just Harmer and some drums in the background. So let's get into this patch here. So before we even start going into the Harmer settings, something to note is this is an ARP and this is done within this gear setting over here. We go to this wrench icon and we're gonna select this up and down and then the range is gonna be at this dot, dot, dot value over here. So moving on to actual Harmer, we have two parts here. We're gonna be using A and we're gonna be using B. And then if we go to the effects here, we have two orders of chorus, re reverb, delay, and some compression. So let's turn some of these off for now. And then uh, we're gonna come back to these in a moment so we can kind of see what's happening. So back in our main panel over here for A, let's turn off B and just listen to A. So we're kind of getting that bell sound a little bit here. And first of all, once we come over here to the top, we have this random all the way to the left. So spectral randomness is going to be 100%. And then this timbre, this weird shape over here, if we click this, this is kind of just the editing I've done for the waveform. So let's kind of zoom in just a little bit here and kind of see what this looks like. Now, this is kind of just moving some, some nodes and lines to kind of have build a certain timbre of sound. So, I mean, you can definitely download this patch for free if you don't want to create this waveform from scratch. But... Basically, this is kind of just moving this line around and kind of coming up with a certain starting sound, something kind of like that. And we see over here on the left, this mix is all the way here. So we're really just looking at this waveform down over here. Now, moving on from there, we have this first sub over here at about, uh, what does it look like here? If I move this value about negative 0.2, then 0.9 right over here. So this first sub is going to be almost halfway over here and then a little bit of this protect here at negative 20.5. Now, if you don't know how any of this works, please check out the full Harmer tutorial course and it'll explain all of how this stuff works over here. So moving on from there, our filter is gonna be the crude low pass and this is gonna be at about 42%. And this is also getting sent to the classic high pass, which is gonna be at 34%. And we can see this knob here is, this filter is then going to this one over here. Now, next up, we're gonna be using a little bit of prism on this times mode, and this right over here is gonna be about 29%, so just a little bit of little bit of prism just to kind of add a little bit of that dissonant type of character to it. And then moving on from there, we have three orders of unison on blurred, the panning is 75%, the pitch is 50, and then the phase is going to be 50% jump ahead. Now, over here on the Tuning over here on the detune, we're gonna put this from one to two, this yellow sign over here. And then that's kind of, for the most part, it for, for this side over here. We're not gonna be using pluck or phaser or any of that stuff over here. Now, if we look on this uh, this drop-down list here, we can see these little triangles and see what we're actually affecting. So if we go to the volume, this is basically a quick attack, and then it pretty much goes down pretty quick because we don't really want the sustaining. The sustain's gonna be down to zero. So we kind of want the note to hit and then be gone pretty quick which is nice for arpeggios and stuff like that. Then moving on from there, we have the harmonic level, which we looked at over here, which you can click this over here or go to timbre one harmonic level, gets you to the same place depending on how you want to get there. So now moving on to part B. So let's take a look at this and see what's happening here. So this is going to be the sound that we're getting from B. Now over here for the phase, we have this random at 41% running. We're just gonna be using the default saw wave over here. And then we're not worrying about any of the subs or the protect or any of that stuff over there. But we are gonna be going over to, where is it here? No filter here, no custom shape over here. So this is gonna be kind of open. So we're not really gonna be using any of this stuff here. But this frequency, this pitch here is gonna be up to four right here. So this yellow one, select this and drag this all the way up to four. And then that's pretty much it. We also were copying this volume here from the first one as well. And a little trick in case you didn't know, if you like a certain shape that you've done, you can always click this drop down menu here and then copy to the different part instead of having to draw the same wave or the same shape over and over and over again and not really have it exact. So that's something you can do right over there. 
And that's pretty much it for the sound generation part. It's not too complicated, but once you get everything mixed in right, and then you get the effects, then you play the arpeggiator, and it sounds pretty cool after that. So with both of these parts selected, that's gonna be the bass sound that we're gonna be start to work with. Now we're gonna be jumping into the effects over here. So as you remember, the first thing that we had was this chorus. So if we go order to two right here, it starts to thicken it up a little bit here. So the depth is gonna be 50%, the speed 75, this chorus delay 6%, the spread 100, the cross is gonna be negative 25%, and the mix is at 50. Moving on, we have delay, and this is gonna be a normal, so let's turn this on. All right, so moving on from there, the delay input volume, 50% here. The filter for the low cut, 338 hertz. For the high cut, it's going to be 8,547 hertz. And then we have this uh, this button over here selected. And again, if you're not sure what any of this stuff does, please check out the full course. We go, go through everything in Harmer and leave no stone unturned. And then for the feedback, is going to be 30%. And then this time is going to be 2. And then this delay time stereo offset, 25%. Now we add some reverb. And this off the bat makes it pretty pretty big. So for the filter over here, it's going to be the low cut 75 hertz for the high cut uh, about 4K. And then over here on the pre-delay, it's gonna be zero. So basically it happens instantaneously. The size 40%, diffusion 100%, the reverb decay 1,493 milliseconds. And then for the high dampening about 4K and then the wet signal is gonna be 73%. Now we finally move over to compression and I believe we had it on heating. And it's going to kind of give us this big sound. So with all these effects here, it's kind of really what's bringing it to life there. So this amount over here is going to be 50%. I brought up the lows a little bit to 58%. The mids are going to be 54 and then the highs are going to be 66%. So that's pretty much how this patch was constructed. And then you go to the advanced tab if you'd like to, and you can see the effects order. So how all these effects are feeding into each other if you are curious. But that's pretty much this in a nutshell. You can totally get this patch for free if you don't want to move every single knob by yourself. Just click the uh, link in the video description below. And with that being said, you just pretty much have to import it into whatever folder that you'd want. And you can always down click this arrow here and then go to save preset as, and it's gonna open up the directory where Harmer is looking for the files. So that's where you'd wanna copy them in if you wanna just load the preset in here. So that's pretty much it. Let's play this out with Arp of Virtue. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.